welcome to today's tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to talk about how you can install a carrier or a logistic or a consignment website that has um, a tracking page now um, if we mean a um, consignment and a tracking website let me show you an example logistics or carrier or consignment website this is an example of it um, that has a tracking page you can track your parcel um, this is how it looks like. This is a one page, um, carrier website, which you can use for your, um, project or anything you want to do. As you can see, it comes with a translator. You can translate to any language. It comes with a translator. So from here, you can, you know, easily track your goods. Take for instance, this, then you hit on the track. Now, once you hit all the tracks, if the reference number is valid, it's going to show you that it's valid. If it's not valid, it is going to show you that it's not valid. Now, if it's valid, it's going to display something here. So let's use a valid um, tracking number so that we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to use this tracking number so that we'll see how um, the tracking page works. Now, this is it. So this is how it will break everything down and it will explain everything to you. You can as well print it. Um, if you print it, is to appear like this for you and it's going to display everything the sender the receiver's name and any other um um available information you need on it so it's going to appear like that for you so um any destination you change is going to appear on the shows deliver then there is an admin panel for it an admin dashboard which is very simple so we are going to install this and we are going to see how it works so if you stay with me to the end of this tutorial, you should be able to install this if you have the script. Like I said, this is a pure PHP script. It is not a Laravel script, it is a pure PHP script. So it is very easy to install and to configure. You can make changes to anything you want to make changes to. If you have still not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, I want you to smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that whenever we release next video, you'll be the first person to see the video. So with that, we'll that we are going to upload our file on our cpanel i've already created a folder on my um on my um, url so i'm going to just open the folder and i'm going to upload the file from my computer all right so after uploading your script you have to go click back and um, extract the file so um this is it so you're going to click here and you're going to click extract file then once it's done you are going to delete the zip file because we don't need the zip file anymore we're going to hit this delete zip file so now the next thing we are going to connect our database we are going to connect our database so you go back to your cpanel and you scroll down to where you see um database mysql but i love using database wizard because it's direct it is um automated once you create this it you automatically create the um database name for you as well so i'm going to use um db wizard then what I'm going to do, you have, um, I'm going to create a username for it. I'm going to call it carrier. Then I'll click next. Waiting for this, I'll go back to my file here. I'm going to configure my database. I'll click on admin. Then I'll click on this config folder. Then I'll locate this config. All right, click on it. And um, I will edit because I want to make changes to my DB name my db um, username and my db password so i'll come back to this place it's done so i'll use the same name as my username and password i'm um, sorry as my username then i'm going to auto generate a password for it so i'll copy this password now click i have copied this password and i'll click on create user then once it is loading i'll come back to this place now my database password i'm going to replace it with this Oh, I already copy my database password very well. So I'm just going to regenerate the password. First of all, I'm going to click this. I'll click on make changes to it. Then I'll click on return home. I forgot to copy the password very well. So I'm just going to go back to my database. I'll scroll down to my database and I'm going to make changes to the password so that so I'll scroll down to where I have my current user. I'll locate this carrier. This is it. And I'll change password. 
you can as well type your password or you can use anything so let me just auto generate a password then i right click and copy now click use password then i come back to this place i'll clean this now paste it there okay so i'll come back and i'll click on change password okay so um the next thing is for you to change your username and your db username so i'm going to because i use the same thing here so i'm going to copy it i'll come to this place my db name here i'm going to change it and paste it here then this i'm going to change it and paste it here so once i'm done i'm going to hit save so now i have configured my database and i've uploaded my script and i can categorically tell you that my site is ready So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to upload the database. So if you click on config here, you will see a database here, SQL. So what you are going to do, you are going to hit and download the SQL. And once you download the SQL, you come back to this place, go back to your cPanel and go to your PHP My Admin, click on it, then you wait for it to load. Then once it is loaded, you will have to search for your PHP. So with this, I'm done. So I'm just going to click on this my php here then i'll click on import click on import and i'm going to import my file i'll choose my file i'll go to my download and um this is it and i'll scroll down and i'll click on import so i'm just going to wait for it to import so after it has imported my site is ready so my site is ready you can see the files here so from the file you have branches countries parcel and user login so from this place you see your admin login and um the password so let's go and view our site i'll just click on my techdictators.com slash carrier then i'll hit the enter so if you configured your files very well and you configured your database very well your website should load automatically so all right so as you can see our our, our site is loaded and um, everything is fine so this is how the landing page looks like like i said you can make changes to anything you want you can decide to use another front end for it you can know if you are good with php you can just configure your um, front end and um, configure the tracking page to it so this is how it looks like and it's very unique like i said it's very unique so um let's go over to the admin dashboard and see how the admin dashboard works so this is the admin dashboard um login i beg your pardon so let's log into the admin um dashboard so that we'll see how you can create um a password and how you can track all right um i've logged into the admin dashboard this is the admin dashboard and this is how it works so um, this is parcel. If you want to create a new parcel, you create on you click on this add parcel here. So um, you put you can put your tracking number. Maybe you MG this 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 and this this could be your tracking number. So let's copy this tracking number, put it in another tab. Um, then um, the sender's name who is sending maybe your Matech Digitas sender's phone number. Maybe plus two three four. Then um, sender's address, maybe this. Um, source country, where is it coming from? Then um, reference number, is this one is optional, you can put anything there. Password item description, you can put anything there. Then the weight, what is the weight, maybe 23. What is the quantity, maybe <clears throat> five um, bags or, or anything. Then what is the mode of transportation, is it by land or by sea and, and anything there. Then who is the receiver? Then receiver's phone number, just put it there. Then receiver's address, um, destination country, where is it going? It's coming from this country and it's going to this country. So what is the status? I think I'm um, the part source country. Maybe it has departed the country. So the next thing you're going to do here is click on submit. So once you click on submit, remember your tracking code. So it is the tracking code you will use to track. So let's copy the tracking code and um, Let's go to the front end and let's go back um, what we just created now. Then we'll put it here and click on track now. So once you click on track now, it's going to tell you this, that it has departed to where? Argentina. 
So now let's um, make changes to what we just did. For you to make changes, maybe you want to change the destination. You come here, you click on update location. Then once you click on update location, you, you paste your tracking code here and you click on search. So it's going to bring everything here. So the current location is Argentina. The, the next location, where should be the location? Maybe take for instance, you are going to United States, maybe Canada is in Canada. What mode of transportation is it? Is still on air or by land? Now what is not the status? Maybe in transit. A transit, if it is by land, is transit. Maybe not the comment, maybe your parcel is in transit. Then you update the location. Then once you update location, you and um, your your customer checks it again and track it again. It will you no know, change and everything will break down here. Yeah? So as you can see, this is the net tracking. Your password is in transit, as you can see. We are Canada. So this is it. This is how it works. So these are the system work. Like I said, you can print and you can do anything. So um this is a very but simple carrier or logistics or consignment script built with PHP and not Laravel because it's very simple. And this is the admin dashboard. So if you know you found value for this video, please, I want you to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that whenever I release videos like this, next time you'll be the first person to see it. If you are in need of this very script, our contact um, details is below this video. You can send us a message on WhatsApp or you can drop us a mail and we'll forward this script to you. Thank you very much.